you've built a digital safety net. Take an hour this weekend to get started. Buy an external drive, sign up for a cloud service, and configure your backups. Your future self will thank you for it. Don't wait until it's too late. The best time to start backing up your files was yesterday. The second best time is right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this guide has helped demystify the world of backups and given you the confidence to protect your important files. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tips to make your digital life easier and safer. Do you have a backup strategy you swear by? Share it in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're re-diving deep into something we all deal with, but maybe do on think about enough. Managing all the devices connected to our Windows computer. From your mouse and keyboard to printers, webcams, and even your phone, keeping everything running smoothly can sometimes feel like a full-time job. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be a pro at handling everything your PC is connected to. We'll cover the essentials, from the basics of device manager to some cool lesser-known tricks that will make your life so much easier. So, if you're ready to take control of your tech, let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the heart of device management on Windows. The device manager, think of it as the control center for every piece of hardware connected to your system. To open it, just right-click your start button and select device manager from the list. Easy, right? Once you're in, you'll see a categorized list of everything, display adapters, keyboards, network adapters, you name it. If you see a little yellow triangle with an exclamation mark next to a device, that's Windows telling you something's wrong. It's your first clue that a driver might be missing, outdated, or corrupted. This is the starting point for almost all hardware troubleshooting. So, what do you do when you see that yellow warning sign? The most common culprit is a driver issue. A driver is basically a piece of software that lets your operating system communicate with your hardware. Your first step should be to try updating the driver. Right-click the problematic device, choose Update Driver, and then select Search Automatically for Drivers. Windows will scan its database and the internet for a new driver. A lot of the time, this simple step solves the problem. It's like giving your computer a little refresher course on how to talk to its own parts. It's quick, it's easy, and it should always be your go-to move when a device isn't behaving. Now, what if the automatic search doesn't find anything? Don't panic. Sometimes, the best drivers come directly from the manufacturer. Let's say your graphics card is acting up. Your best bet is to go to the website of the company that made it, whether that's NVIDIA, AMD, or Intel. They have dedicated sections for driver downloads. You'll usually need to know the model of your device, which you can find right there in Device Manager. Download the latest driver for your specific version of Windows, run the installer, and give your computer a restart. This method often gives you the most stable and feature-rich drivers. 
especially for high-performance hardware like graphics cards or specialized peripherals. But let's move on to a slightly more advanced trick, rolling back a driver. Have you ever updated a driver and suddenly everything starts going wrong? Maybe your screen starts flickering or your mouse becomes unresponsive. This happens when a new driver has a bug or isn't compatible with your system. Device Manager has a built-in safety net for this. Just right-click the device, go to Properties, click the Driver tab, and you'll see a button that says Rollback Driver. If it's clickable, it means you can revert to the previously installed driver. This is an incredibly useful feature that can save you a lot of headaches. It's like an undo button for your hardware updates. Sometimes, a device just needs a fresh 